Hey guys, YouTube Offender here. Alright, and I figured for this video I would just, like, uh, come on here to talk a little bit about what happened tonight at the Royal Rumble. And, yeah, well, I figured I would, like, discuss the two winners of the Royal Rumble matches and what the plans could be for the two of them this year at WrestleMania. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you didn't watch the Royal Rumble tonight, you may not want to watch this video just yet if you don't want... A spoiled who did win it, but yeah, I'm sure that a lot of you probably did watch the Royal Rumble tonight, but yeah, if you didn't, you may want to wait till you have to actually watch this video if you don't want the winner spoiled for you. Alright, but yeah, so in this video, I'm just going to like talk about the two winners of the Royal Rumble matches and like what the possible plans for them could be for WrestleMania. Alright, so yeah, tonight at the uh, Royal Rumble, the two winners of the Royal Rumble matches were... um. Bianca Belair won the Women's Wear Rumble, and uh, the and um, for the Men's Wear Rumble, the winner was Edge. Yeah, and yeah, and it was interesting that this year, like uh, the, the they both like entered like early in the match. Like uh, Bianca was um entrant number three in the Women's Wear Rumble, and yeah, Edge was the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble tonight. So yeah, so Edge has now become the uh, third uh man to win the uh, Royal Rumble match from the first entry. Yeah, of course, like, uh, the other two were Shawn Michaels and Chris Benoit. So, yeah, Edge has now become the third man to um, win the uh, Royal Rumble at the number one entry. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, tonight, I figured that I would just, like, come on here and now talk about, like, what I think the possible plan could be for the two of them for their WrestleMania title matches. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I'll start with um, Bianca Belair winning the Women's Royal Rumble match. So yeah, so Bianca Belair winning, I mean, yeah, I'm sure like this was like a really big moment for her because, yeah, she like uh, debuted in the WWE at the Royal Rumble last year. And ever since then, she's just been like a battling, trying to make her way to the top and then... Yeah, and then, yeah, tonight, yeah, she entered the Royal Rumble match, and yeah, like I said, she entered from entry number three, and yeah, she won the whole thing, so yeah, I think the only other person that has, like, won the Royal Rumble from entry number three was, of course, Ric Flair in 1992, so yeah, so, yeah, this is just the second time somebody has entered at the number three spot and won the Royal Rumble. Yeah, so yeah, and it really was, like, a really great performance from her, like, she lasted, like, almost an hour, like, uh, yeah, of course, like, she was entry number three, so she did last pretty much, basically, the entire match, just, like, 90 seconds short of it, yeah, yes, but, yeah, she really did put on, like, a real awesome performance, and, yeah, she did win the Royal Rumble match tonight, now, as far as what could happen for her at WrestleMania, which title will she challenge for? Well, I got a feeling that both, like, title, both of them are going to be challenging for, like, the opposing brand, well, for each brand's titles. Like, one of them is going to be challenging, like, the SmackDown uh, Championship, and the other one is going to be challenging for the Raw Championship. Now, who's going to be challenging for which championship? Well, I really don't know. Um, for Bianca Blair, I mean... Yeah, right now, um, Asuka is the Raw Women's Champion, and Sasha Banks is the SmackDown Women's Champion. So, yeah, as far as, like, who Bianca Blair is going to challenge, I don't really know, because, I mean, will, like, uh, um, Asuka and Sasha Banks actually hold the titles until WrestleMania? Because WrestleMania is still a couple months away, so, yeah, they could, like, uh, lose their respective championships before then. But, yeah, which one will, um... Bianca Belair challenge for? Well, I really don't know. I mean, I could really see it going either way for her. Like, like if Asuka and Sasha Banks do both hold their championships until WrestleMania, gosh, I really don't know which one um, uh, Bianca Blair, Belair will challenge for because I could really see it going either way. I mean, I think maybe that... Uh, maybe, like, it is more likely I could see her more, like, going after, um, the SmackDown Women's Championship against Sasha Banks, because, I mean, of course, like, now, like, uh, Bianca Belair is, like, already, like, on SmackDown, so, 
And it probably is, like, more likely maybe for her to really, like, go after the SmackDown Women's Championship. And if Sasha Banks does, like, hold on to it up until, up to WrestleMania, yeah, uh, Bianca Belair will challenge her. Her, yeah, I could probably see it going that way. But, yeah, on the other hand, I mean, I could also see her, like, going after um Asuka as well for the Raw Women's Championship. Because, yeah, I could just really see this going either way. This one is really, like, the, the tougher one for me to really um decide which one, like, uh, Bianca will really end up challenging for. Because, yeah, I could just really see this, like, really going either way. Okay, right, so, yeah, I just... I'm not really sure which uh, championship Oscar, uh, I mean, not Asuka, um, Bianca Bel Belair will actually um, be challenging for. Uh, it, this is the tougher one for me to decide, but yeah, if you do, like, if you did twist my arm and, and force me to really make a choice, I think that she probably would m most likely be going after the um, SmackDown Women's Championship against Sasha Banks, especially seeing as how um, she is already, like, on SmackDown, so, uh, yeah, I think it is more likely for her to really go and challenge for that title. But at the same... But yeah, like I said, I could still see her still, like, going after the Raw Women's Championship as well. But yeah, I really don't know, like, when, like, her decision is going to be made. I don't know if it is going to be actually made, like, on, like, the on the next episode of SmackDown or if she's going to be coming to Raw tomorrow night and saying she's going to be challenging for the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know, like, when, like, her decision... She is going to be making her decision, but... Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, but yeah, I could really see it going either way, but I think it's more likely for her to be going after the SmackDown Women's Championship, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Well, it's for her, yeah. And as far as for Edge winning the Men's Royal Rumble match, um, uh, I mean, I really don't know what to think about Edge winning this Royal Rumble. I mean, what is really in it for him, really, because, I mean, Edge is already in the Hall of Fame, and plus, yeah, he at all he already came back last year, year after being out, off for, like, nine years since his retirement from his neck problems and stuff, yeah, so, yeah, and of course, like, this was Edge's, like, first appearance in a match since, like, this past May against Randy Orton at Backlash, so, um, um, yeah, so this was Edge's first appearance, and yeah, and then Edge winning the Royal Rumble here, um, gosh, I got kind of, like, mixed feelings about Edge winning this Royal Rumble, because, of course, this is the second Royal Rumble match Edge has won, of course, he won it in 2010, and now this is his, the second Royal Rumble he's won, and, uh, gosh, I mean, I'm not really liking what WWE is now doing with, like, having, like, guys who have already won the Royal Rumble match before, like, win it again, like, they've been doing that a lot in the last several years, like, I'm really not liking that they're doing this, like, they've been doing this a lot since, like, 2013, like, in 2013, they had John Cena win his second Royal Rumble match, the following year in 2014, they had Batista win his second Royal Rumble match, in 2016, they had Triple H win his second Royal Rumble match, 2017, they had Randy Gordon win his second, and then... Yeah, and then now tonight they have Edge his second. Like, I'm really not liking WWE just not now doing this for like a whole bunch of guys now having them win like the Royal Rumble match for a second time. I really liked it like back when it was just like only like a few guys had won the Royal Rumble match multiple times with Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, and Stone Cold. Like, I really liked it when it was just like a few guys doing it. I'm, I'm not liking that they're now like having pretty much everybody doing it now. Yeah, so that's something that I really don't like about Edge winning it. And, yeah, but, and, as well as, like, with him, and like, what is even left for him to do? Like, he's in the Hall of Fame already, so what is even left for him to do? I mean, does, or is WWE just wanting to, like, give him, like, a one more title match and, like, just have it be the way that he, like, fully does end his career and, like, Edge will just, Edge is, like, gonna, like, retire completely? So, yeah, so I just really don't, like, really understand this decision, really for Edge winning it, and just, like, what is really left for him to do? Like, why does he even need this? Yeah, but, yeah, regardless of that, yeah, which title is Edge going to challenge for? 
me personally, I really do see it like more like likely for him to actually go after um Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship because of course like Roman Reigns is still the Universal Champion right now and Drew McIntyre is still the WWE Champion and yeah just like I said with um Sasha Banks and Asuka like will the two of them still like hold the championship until WrestleMania or will they lose it? Yeah, but, yeah, if the two of them do, like, still hold on to their respective titles up to WrestleMania, I could see it, like, still be, I could really see, like, Edge really going after, like, Roman Reigns for the Universal title. I don't, more than I could really see him going against Drew McIntyre. Personally, with Drew McIntyre, um, I don't really see much sense in that with Edge going up against Drew McIntyre, because, I mean, pretty much, like, for the last year, Drew McIntyre has really just had, like, this huge push, and, yeah, he's just, like, remained at the top, so, now, I mean, personally, I really can't see, like, really Edge really uh, destroying uh, Drew McIntyre's momentum, and, and w winning the title from him, yeah, I could see it really being more against, um, Roman Reigns, because, yeah, because, of course, like, Roman Reigns is, like, he is, like, more, or, like, he, he does have, like, a more, um, um, of a wrestling style similar to Edge, because, of course, like, with him doing the spear and all that, it would be kind of, like, I could really, like, see Edge going after Roman Reigns, like, I could see possibly, like, the two of them, like, trying to do a spear at the same time with each other in a match, yeah. And I just can, like, really see it, like, more likely for Edge to really be going after Roman Reigns. I mean, yeah, it sounds like Edge is not really a part of part of Raw or SmackDown. Yeah, Edge can really, like, it is likely for, like, Edge to really, like, go after, like, either championship, whichever the, either one he wants and, and stuff. So, but, yeah, I really do, like, see it probably him really going after Roman Reigns in the Universal title more. So, yeah, so... Yeah, so due to that, with me, like, saying that, like, Edge is, like, pro probably more likely to really be going after Roman Reigns in the Universal title, yeah, it is, that could probably mean that, uh, um, um Bianca Belair will, like, uh, challenge for the Raw Women's Championship against Asuka, Asuka, especially, well, since, since I do see, like, Edge really going after Roman Reigns, and not really Drew McIntyre. I did say that I really do could see like a Bianca Belair going either way with it, but I th thought that it was more likely for her to be going after the SmackDown Women's title. But if it is more likely for Edge to really be going after Roman Reigns, then Bianca Belair will probably like go end up challenging for the Raw Women's title. But yeah, who knows what is going to happen with either one of these uh, title matches. And plus, yeah, since like Edge is already like a Hall of Famer and stuff, he's not a full time competitor. I mean, Will he even win the championship? Like, I don't know. I mean, I mean, like I said, like, if this is, like, with Edge just, like, a way to really just, like, completely end his career with, like, this final title match with him made of any WrestleMania, like, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, is, are they actually going to have him, like, become the champion and then just relinquish it immediately when he, like, fully retires, if that is, like, the route they're going with this? So, yeah, I don't know, I mean, w and who knows, I mean, will Edge even actually still be challenging for the title at WrestleMania, because who knows if, like, something's gonna happen where, like, Edge is forced to, like, um, put his, like, his, um, WrestleMania title shot on the line against somebody, whether it is, like, um, Randy Orton or Daniel Bryan or whoever it may be, or Braun Strowman or whoever it may be, yeah, and he loses it to that person, like, or will they go down that route with it? Because, yeah, I feel like there is a chance that that could happen, since, like, because Edge isn't a full-timer, he's just, he's a Hall of Famer competing part-time, and, yeah, if, like, what I said with Head, like, it wouldn't, if he's just gonna win the title just to relinquish it after winning it right away, like, like why would, why should WWE even bother with that? So, yeah. So, I don't really know what they're going to do. If they are going to go through with having Edge challenge it, or if he's going to, like, put a, the title shot on the line and lose it. So, yeah. Just, yeah. It's just open in the air for just to what's going to happen with Edge. I mean, like I said, WrestleMania is still a couple months away. So, yeah, they still, there is still, like, uh, quite a bit of time for this to really, um, for them to really, like, build this up and just, yeah see what route they're going to go with this. So, yeah, so, yeah, we'll just have to see what goes on for which, what these two title matches will be for WrestleMania in the next 
for the next 10 weeks, basically, yeah, and, yeah, and personally, for me, like, how these time should go, of course, like, this year for WrestleMania, they're doing the same thing they did last year with WrestleMania happening on two nights, I would really kind of think that this sh they should do this in a way with, like, having each, like, title match match go on, like, last for both nights, like, have the women's title match go on, on for the last match of the first night of the show, and then, yeah, then have the, have, like, the uh, Edge's title match go on of uh, the, uh, on for on last for the second night of the show. I mean, that's how I think they should do this. But yeah, who knows like how they're gonna do this? We'll just have to wait and see for WrestleMania in ten weeks. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, we'll just have to wait and see like what WWE decides to do and what the two matches will be for WrestleMania as they like build this up for the up to WrestleMania. So yeah, so we'll just have see how it goes. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I guess that's all I can really say about it. So those are my thoughts on the Royal Rumble matches and my and what I think the possibilities are for the matches at WrestleMania. So yeah, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about like the two Royal Rumble match winners and and what titles you think they'll go after and what route WWE will go under this. Yeah, Give, like tell me what you think will happen for WrestleMania. Comment on my channel and tell me. All right, but yeah, like I said, we're just gonna have to wait and see. You. He, what WWE does plan to do with it. Alright. So, yeah. So, I guess that's all I can really say about it. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys did enjoy what I had to say about this. And tell me what you think about it. But, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.